So first let's discuss frequency mixing and frequency conversion. So let's consider uh, the idea that we have some modulated message, mt cosine omega ct. And so as we've seen many times in this class already, right, this message, we have a message and it's being modulated by some frequency omega c. And we've called this the carrier frequency. However, what if we were to change the frequency of this modulation from the carrier frequency uh, into some intermediate frequency, which we'll denote as omega i? We can do this by multiplying those two together. So we're going to accomplish this via multiplication. So we're going to have our original message that's been modulated. And we're going to multiply our original message by another cosine term, 2 cosine omega mix t. Now, omega mix, this is a mixing frequency, is going to be based off of our intermediate frequency. So the omega mix frequency is our original carrier frequency, and then it's plus or minus this intermediate frequency. So we can further write this as saying, right, omega mix is either omega c plus omega i or omega c minus omega i. So if we were to do this, we're going to perform this just like we did previously when we modulated a message. So we're going to have our message, which happens to be modulated already, and in the other input to our multiplier, we're going to have a cosine wave with a mix, that mix frequency where we've already defined the omega mix frequency as omega c plus or minus this intermediate frequency. After we mix these two together by multiplying them together, we'll put it through a bandpass filter that's centered at our intermediate frequency of interest, and the resulting output is going to be a message that is now modulated at our intermediate frequency. So using this method, using this multiplication plus a bandpass filter, we have changed the frequency that our message has been modulated with. We changed it from omega c to omega i. Right, so we changed it from this into here. So let's take a look at this again using some math. So first, right, we, we've just seen how that works in practice. We looked at the block diagram. Now let's take a look at the math, make sure that it makes sense. So we have first our message modulated by omega c. Then we put it through that mixer, that multiplier, where we have the omega mix frequency. And right, that omega mix, right, is plus or minus our intermediate frequency. So once we've done this, we can say that we now have these two cosine waves being multiplied by each other, the omega c and the omega mix. Now applying this identity, we can see that our omega c and our omega mix are going to go into the argument of these two cosine waves. Now, if we take this further, right, so we have one that's addition, one that's subtra uh, a subtraction here. And uh, by applying this identity, right, we had this one half term. So the one half term is going to get canceled with this two term, leaving us with just a amplitude of the message by itself. And so now we have this xt. Um, so now we're going to take a look at two different cases of the omega mix, right? The first case will be the o omega c plus omega i, whereas the second case would be minus omega i intermediate frequency. So in case one, we have our um, original carrier frequency plus the intermediate frequency. When we apply this, put them through the mixer, apply our trig identities, what we see is that we have a message that looks like this. The message is modulated by this sum of these cosine waves. And we can see one of the cosine waves is at 2 omega c plus omega i. And these are the green whereas this one is at omega i, or intermediate frequency. So we have one term that's at quite a high frequency. It's at two times our carrier frequency uh, and plus the intermediate frequency. And we have another term that is less than that. It's at our intermediate frequency. So we can clearly see, right, if we pass this through that bandpass filter that we showed here, right, the bandpass filter centered at our intermediate frequency. Right, we will be left with just one term, and it's our message that's being multiplied by this. So therefore, we have been able to change our 
modulating frequency from the carrier frequency to that intermediate frequency. In the next video, I will show you case two, which is where the mix is omega C minus that intermediate frequency.